What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Vega baby. Baby. Okay, <laughs> let me stop playing. Uh, just got in. You know, I don't know when I'm gonna get this up, but today is Friday and made it through the week. It's like when I make it through the week, I'm like, I made it, I made it, I survived another week. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to October. Whoa, whoa. Uh, because we get off a whole week in October. So I'm excited. And during that time, that's when I'm going to redo my hair because I need like three straight days where I am unbothered. No one's bothered me. I'm just watching movies and stuff and just doing my hair. It is, it's, it's rough. It's rough, y'all. I'm not even gonna front. It's rough doing my hair. <laughs> I feel like it's torture, but I don't have the coin to be paying somebody to do my hair okay and honey i go to the africans or the rest of my little edges will be gone child they be cat they will catch your thoughts up in there mm -mm, no thank you and then bobby needs her hair um so um, this my little this my little outfit of day yes it's, i got my little morning puffy face it'll go down in a couple of hours okay so just so this my little outfit of today it's friday i like these little pants they like hammer top dude <laughs> Hammer top. <laughs> so this is my little outfit. Y'all like my moves, right? So I got my little um, Versace uh, dog tags on. A little spark. I like my little spark. I like little sparkles. And these pants, I don't know where I got these pants. Maybe Forever 21 a long time ago. It's hammer time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And I thought about wearing one white Adidas sneaker and one black. I had them on this morning and then I took them off. I did not pack lunch. So, Connie Chow. <laughs> Connie Chow. She got um, a whole case of these noodles and some spicy ones. <coughs> That's not Corona. Okay. And um, these are really, really good. I do not know where you get these from. <laughs> so she sent a whole case of these and they're so good. So what I do, we uh, made some chicken breast and we chopped them up. So we, I just grabbed some chicken breast, some chopped up chicken breast and I put it in the fridge and I add it to the noodles. Super, super good. But it's like I never have enough time to just really enjoy them because as soon as my class leaves, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm tying up what I was doing. so. It seems like I'm always eating these when the kids are walking in the class. So I need to manage that time a little better. And I started my morning. <laughs> I started my morning with this. So I have this one. And oh, then there's a, uh, an orange one. I think I like the pomegranate blueberry one the best but they're both good and um it's like a natural energy which i probably don't need any of that and then i haven't had my coffee yet because i was drinking this on the way here and i treated myself to a kolache this morning it's like a it's a um it's a polish sausage so they use that and um instead of this little little tiny one so it's really good and i treated myself to that i don't go very often so that was my treat. So let me tell you, quiet, 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 quiet. Oh, how y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? Tell me about your day. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, girl. Make it a good day. <laughs> so a student came into um, class yesterday, and I was just too tired to um, vlog at the end of the day. And um, Miss Anderson, she called me and talking about parents, how the parents are challenging, how they challenge the teachers and about the work we give and um, uh, how we are pushing the kids too hard in poetry. How can you, um, you know, grade poetry, poetry because it's, you know, comes from a different perspective and blah, blah, blah. It depends on your take and your opinion on that piece. But what happens, so I've been told, 
the transition i'm seventh grade i'm a seventh grade teacher um english teacher so i've i've been told that to transition from sixth grade to seventh grade is the hardest because the the some the new seventh graders now have to learn how to think on a different level their thinking needs to be more in depth they need to be able to analyze things and not always look for the answer that's directly in the passage no they have to infer or make an educated guess on what the author is trying to convey to the to the reader or in the story so they have to say mm, you know based on you know the answer choices i think you know this would be the best choice so you have to make inferences you have to analyze the passage the poem the story the article whatever it may be and they haven't they weren't taught that skill on a deeper level in sixth grade so in seventh grade it's all inferencing um and thinking on a different level and sometimes that's a little harder or it takes a lot of practice to really hone in on that skill so one parent was challenging miss anderson about that she was like no you know at some point in your life you're going to be challenged to think on a deeper level and you know it it takes practice and coaching the right coaching to really um get that skill because in eighth grade woo, they do not play they're reading fahrenheit in eighth grade and um that not a very very easy book to break that down and analyze fahrenheit if you don't know that book it's 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 not easy okay they're reading that in eighth grade here bobby my daughter she's in 12th grade that's what they're reading in 12th grade of course the 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 deeper understanding and the analysis that she's doing in 12th grade it's of course is going to be different than eighth grade the questioning is going to be different so that's why i feel as though i teach on level class and i teach pre-ap i teach the same content but the pre-ap the level and the speed of that class is much much quicker than the on level class the analytical process process in the pre p is a little you know a little more challenging than an on level class same content but you just take it up to a higher a higher level so that's different so anyway so one of my students she came in yes how did i get off on that y'all probably don't care about that but that's what it is in, in the from sixth grade to seventh grade anyway that's my little teacher talk so she came and she said i have a gift for you i said for me i was like what your mom is on my YouTube? She on your she on my YouTube? <laughs> she was like, no. And I thought it was so sweet, so I opened it. Um, and this company, I guess this lady makes this stuff. Um, your order made all day. We hope we make yours. If you have any questions, reach out. I don't know. Follow us on IG, the girls dot and dot I. I don't know the card was cute so it was wrapped in the cute little plastic the packaging was really cute and this is the shirt it's the little t-shirt I don't know what does it say I can't see y'all peace love and reading ah so cute peace love and reading I thought that was so sweet Looks like a little tie-dye at the bottom. I don't know how, how they make these. It's not an applique. It's like, I don't know. So cute. I love it. So I thought that was so wonderful. So, so wonderful. So I think I have a meeting um, about grades. And I can't wait to hear what they say about that. So what I did, quite, quite, this is what I did, y'all. You know, I'll be working every weekend. Miss Anderson and I, we work, I, 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 she works longer than I, she's like a machine. Sometimes she'll work to three and four in the morning. And I was like, oh girl, I had to tap out. <laughs> I had to tap out. So it always seems like we're always working every Sunday, every weekend. Um, so her husband is like, you know, enough is enough, you know. So we're missing those moments in quality time, you know, with our family. And in the beginning, it was understandable because it was, the transition was new for all of us. Well, let me turn on my lights. Come on y'all let me turn on these lights so it was new for everybody and um so what i did grades are due on monday we have to have a grades due on monday for a report card so why should i give up 
yet another weekend to great late work. Late, like from August. So, and it's, it's, I know somebody else said, you know, late is late, but this is based on, you know, what's going on with, with, this is new for everybody. Some people could have internet uh, connections and um, they may not have the right computers and sharing with other family members. So there are other things involved. So according to the district, um, they said that we have to continue to accept late work. So not me, it's the district. So, but if your work is really late, you do start at a 70 point blank, period. So, um, now I forgot what I was, where I was going. Oh, so what I did, quiet, listen, quiet, 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 quiet. So what I did, I, um, set my outer office thing on my email. I said it, I said outer office. I'll be out of the office. So I will not have access to email. No, why should I give up a, another weekend for grading late work? No, I'm, I'm, I'm dedicated and I'm committed to grading all day on Friday. You know, if you're getting your stuff in, it's Friday and, uh, you know, I will check emails Friday, check out, we use Schoology, I will check our um, platform that we use at school, I'll check that Friday, all night, midnight, whatever. Saturday and Sunday, no, I need to plan for my, um, my PowerPoint for the next day. I, I'm, I can't do it. I'm, I'm tired. It's easy to get burnt out as a teacher. You give, 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 give. You do your best and you know, sometimes you, you just not appreciate it. Well, today's at 18. So I'm just like, nope, I said that out of office. So that's what I did just, you know, to have my time, to get my time back. And sometimes when you have your stuff, the parents or kids send emails, on the weekend, they expect you to respond. So no, don't expect no response. Grades are due Monday morning. So I'm committed to, you know, working as hard as I can all the way to midnight on Friday, but that's it, that's it. For lay work, mm-mm. Today is Friday, I'm writing. And Oops, <laughs> make up all late assignments. What I did y'all, I um, I booked the computer room. The kids tested um, Wednesday and Thursday. The kids tested Wednesday and Thursday. And we really can't review today because people are still taking the test. So what we're going to do, I booked the computer room. I have to see if I got the room. So I booked the computer room. And if you have late work, you need to catch up on whatever, even if it's for another class, this is your time. I will, you know, confer with um, other kids, meet with them, look at their grades, go over stuff. So it's my opportunity to touch base with every child. So that's what we're doing today, any late work. So I'll probably have, I wanna do something fun for the kids who are done with everything. I really don't know what to do. Um, so I have to come up with a quick assignment for that because, you know, I don't want to penalize them um, for that. But they'll be like, what, what, do, what do I do now? I was like, you don't know, you've done all your work? Yes, ma'am. So it was really more my pre-AP. So I need to come up with something for them. And I don't want to assign um, our next story because Monday. Where are my tables? I'm gonna have to go get those tables because I gotta get my room ready, get my seating charts ready. So that's what I'll be doing. So once I bring in more tables in here, I gotta squeeze them in here. So this can be a late night for me. I didn't even think about that because I have to prepare for Monday because my class size is gonna double. So it's almost gonna be like a whole new day one. And I have to be like the strict teacher because you bring in Boom, two forces together that have never been in a class together. So it's, it's, it's like a day one. You know, all the new bodies, the new people. Oh, man. I wonder if the school is going to be open this weekend. I need to find out. 
All right, let me go log into this meeting. I need to find out. I wish my tables were here. I'm going to have to go down there and get them. I'm a, I'm, I may have bring, get some kids. We carrying these tables. Because I, I put a sticky note there in the hallway. There's a whole bunch of tables, so they want to know which teachers needed more tables um, or desks in their room. Shoot, I should have brought stuff in today. Mm -mm, I'm going to have to come in here Saturday and get my mind right. And see, I don't mind that if I'm, you know, if I'm doing stuff, I'm not being, you know, disturbed by kids or, you know. <sighs> I didn't even think of that. Okay, Joy, think. Think. I got to think about this. I'm going to have those kids. We're going to walk right down there. We carrying these tables. Hmm. Because I got to rearrange this room. I'm going to have them help me. Because there's a lot of work. I got to shift. I literally have to shift this whole room over. And figure out a plan, child. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. Let me log on to the Zoom. All right, y'all. I'll try to come back later. Okay. I think that's all I got to tell y'all right now. You know how my day is. My brain. It just be all over the place. I got my noodles, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I love you. I will try to come back, but if not, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Look, this hair is a mess, y'all. I gotta do something. I gotta pretend like my hair is done through the edges or something. Terrible. Alright, <laughs> bye!